So buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions an individual or family can make in their lifetime. Most people don't understand the true costs when it comes to purchasing and owning a piece of real estate throughout the years. So today on the video, we are going over the four different costs when it comes to purchasing the piece of real estate and owning the piece of real estate throughout the years. So make sure you stay tuned for the full video. Hey everybody, my name is Jen Snilson and I'm a local real estate agent with the MJ Group here in the state of Utah. So today on this video, we're going over the four different costs when it comes to purchasing and then also owning the real estate for the number of years. Starting off with number one is obviously the down payment when it comes to purchasing the home. So this one might be the most straightforward cost when it comes to purchasing a home or a piece of real estate. Now typically people are gonna be paying anywhere from 10 to 20% down to purchase the home. So let's say hypothetically you were purchasing a $500,000 house that's gonna be anywhere from 50 to $100,000. But keep in mind that that is not always the case. There are plenty of different loan programs, whether it's a first time buyer, or even if you're moving on to your second house and you don't have that much saved up or don't wanna sell your property and roll the equity in, there are plenty of programs that allow you to only pay either zero to 5% down for the home. So if it was a $400,000 house, that's gonna be anywhere from zero to $20,000. Number two for when it comes to owning or purchasing a piece of real estate are the closing costs. Now each state is gonna be different, but for example, here in the state of Utah, closing costs are gonna average around two to 4% of the purchase price. So let's go back to the hypothetical of a $400,000 home. That's gonna be anywhere from $8,000 to $16,000 of closing costs. Now working in this space, I would say that the closing costs are gonna be lean closer to about two to even 3%. 4% just to be careful and protective of any unforeseen costs. Now on the bright side, given the current market, you can take advantage of sellers offering to cover some or all of your closing costs. Given the current market that we're in now, we've seen sellers pay all of the closing costs for the buyers as an incentive to purchase their home. So let's say with the $400,000 house, that the closing costs ended up coming about $10,000. If the sellers cover it, then great, you don't have to bring that money out of pocket. Now number three, when it comes to costs of owning a home is gonna be your taxes and insurance. Here in the state of Utah, almost all of the mortgages wrap your taxes and insurance into your mortgage payment that you make every single month. But in order to calculate those, taxes and insurance are going to be roughly 1% of the purchase price. Here in the state of Utah, as a rule of thumb, I like to use 0.6% multiplied by the purchase price to give you the rough taxes on your home. Now, taxes are calculated differently because the state assesses the value, which is almost all of the case, less than your current value that you have on the home. And they do have a higher interest rate that they tax that value on, but if you wanna make it quick and easy, then just do the 0.6% multiplied by your purchase price. Now with homeowner's insurance, it's roughly gonna be about $1,000 for the entire year, which breaks up to just a little under $100 every single month. Now you can get policies that cover more or cover, cover less, which would bring down your total cost a couple hundred bucks or increase a couple hundred bucks depending on the policy that you get. Now, like I mentioned earlier, those costs typically wrap into your total mortgage payment. So a lot of the times people just consider their mortgage payment as just their recurring monthly cost. And lastly, cost number four is gonna be utilities and maintenance. So the average cost for utilities here in the state of Utah is gonna be roughly $270. Now that can vary based on if you're renting, owning your own home, the size of the home, the effectiveness of the utilities, and so on. That's going to take into account electric, gas, cable and internet, and water. And the other portion of the home maintenance costs every single month are gonna be upkeep of the home. Now you might have your HVAC guy come out every single year and tune up the AC and the furnace. You might have the plumber come out every single year and flush the water heater and make sure it's running clean. And you'll have little things like changing out the furnace filter, light bulbs, and so on. So at the end of the day, I would roughly budget about 1% of the purchase price to go towards those costs. So on the $400,000 home, about $4,000. I hope that this has been a great value for you. Now these are averages and it's the cost can vary depending on the location, size of home, the condition of the home, and much more. So if you have more questions, make sure to ask your local real estate agent and lender on some of the true and final costs when it comes to purchasing your first or second home. And if this video provided any value for you, we would appreciate it if you hit that like and the subscribe button so that we we know that we provide a value for you and you can stay tuned for more future content thanks so much for being here and we'll see you on the next video